and a liar. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, goodness. If I think about why he got into a battle with, with Drake, it appears that he was jealous. So, if I think about the most popular allegations that were thrown uh, around at Liberty and thrown around frequently, he lied. <laughs> so, again, if, if those are what he represents, yeah, people don't fuck with that. But do people fuck Once with again, you're proving Kendrick is right once again. With the other representations that I think we all agree that is kind of still um, representative of, of, of his his artistry, which is people do believe he's a pro-black, lyrical, militant, um, artistic, calculated type of artist and individual. Yeah, I think I think they you could think both things. You get what I'm saying? Anyway. Dear God, draw the line, they trying to confuse them with me. Dear God, please forgive me, you knowing how hard I tried. I think it's time for me to watch the party die. <laughs> get him going, we gon' watch the party die. <laughs> Send him home, we gon' watch the party die. to watch the party die street niggas and the corporate guys the rappers that report the lies i need their families mortified we can do life without them get their bodies organized tell me if you oblige no more pillow talking jump starting neighborhood wars don't be macking bitches because your spirit is in it's so interesting right because you know i've seen a couple people start posting even the stream they're like yo bro you don't get it kendrick was given a state of the union address he's so smart he's hip-hop jesus okay you got it right remember kendrick can do no wrong the interesting part about even going back to what he like i'm going off kendrick's own please don't please don't make that face again don't, don't, don't do that. Here we go, verse two. I think it's time to watch the party die. Street niggas and the corporate guys, the rappers that report the lies. I need their families mortified. We can do life without them. Get their bodies organized. Tell me if you oblige. No more pillow talking, jump starting neighborhood wars. Don't be macking bitches because your spirit is. In. It's so interesting, right? Because, you know, I've seen a couple people start posting, even the stream. They're like, yo, bro, you don't get it. Kendrick was given a State of the Union address. He's so smart. He's hip hop Jesus. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Remember, Kendrick did no wrong. The interesting part about even going back to what he... Like, I'm going off Kendrick's own fucking words here, people. I'm not, like, making some shit up. This is verse two. I think it's time to watch the party die. Remember, this is a guy that's almost saying the culture of hip-hop or what's been going on so far, he needed to eradicate, burn it up, and build up again. Yes. Right? So he's saying a lot of that shit is garbage. Mm -hmm. and, and some of it applies to, necessarily, say, Aubrey, Drake, and some of it doesn't. But who does it apply to? Let, let's think about this. I think it's time to watch the party die. Street niggas and corporate guys. The rapper... The rappers that report the lies. I need their families mortified the interesting part about that is that i feel like the people he was talking about was right next to him i think he had a pop-out show with a bunch of street niggas in my line feel like he was working with the corporate guys whether it was to get the nfl headliner gig or probably to get the pop-out show on amazon music it's, it's oh my god yo this nigga <laughs> This dude right here, I swear, man, merry go round, round and round, merry go round. This his his new name gonna be Spinderella, DJ Spinderella. Dude, this he just saying anything at at this point. He just throwing anything at the wall, hoping that it sticks. What? <laughs> huh? This dude trying so hard. To, to make Kendrick seem like a hypocrite, Maze try to seem like he's not what he's meant. Give it up, bro. Stop. Get some help. All right. Get some help, man. Get, man he, hey, he, he, hey, but you know what? I'm going to give you E for, e for effort because you're trying. I mean, you were trying your ass. <laughs> As I said, it kind of seems like he's talking the same people who he's kind of speaking out against. He's standing right next to. He trying. Right? It's like you're almost on a boomerang. Like who are you trying to hit? You trying to hit all these things? You trying to catch it? Um, he says street niggas and corporate guys, the rappers that report the lies. Well, here's the thing, Kendrick. Eighty percent of the people you're talking about with this line, they were on stage with you at the pop out. So when you say you need their family mortified. You might as well call their name. We could do life without them. Get their bodies organized. Tell me if you oblige. No more pillow talking. Jump start neighborhood wars. It's probably more to this line right here. No more pillow talking. Jump starting neighborhood wars. Who did that? Who knows? Dirty Mackin bitches because your spirit is insecure. Now, even though th th this seems like a follow up here, I don't know if this line was about Aubrey A.K. Drake. This one feels like it is. I mean, I feel like mm -hmm. the common theme that I, I don't even think Drake himself has even denied that is that Drake everybody you know, has played girls. maybe some interesting games with the love interest or wives or girlfriends of a lot of people 
in the industry and that's one of the and you even admitted that all drake does that drake is a piece of shit because he seemed to be sleeping on everybody exes sleep on everybody girls and stuff like that you even admitted that so that's exactly what in my opinion what kendrick is talking about reasons he's so highly hated so when you hear a line that says dirty mac and bitches because your spirit is insecure it might even lend to some of the rumors that drake is you know you know maybe there's something wrong with him where he's targeting like yo if you go work with a peer and you see their girl in the corner smoking hookah it's, it's kind of not normal for you to be like yo i gotta go fuck that man's girl right so correct perhaps that's what kendrick is alluding to and saying yo your spirit's insecure correct he says the flashy nigga with nasty decisions using money as a backbone this seems like he could be talking to drake as well mm -hmm. i want his head cracked before he's back home hmm. mm -hmm. the radio personality pushing propaganda for salary now obviously i'm not I'm a radio personality you i don't know who could be, be on radio that he's you. talking about let's but let's just assume that he's using this whole you radio personality um he's talking about you man description just as a fill-in for whatever he thinks like maybe somebody like me does right so let's, let's keep about you. that in mind he's talking about you he says the radio personality pushing propaganda for salary let me know when they turn up as a casualty i want agony assault and battery i see a new earth yeah thing. yeah yeah that is what i was looking for too the assault and battery because isn't isn't academics going through a little case allegedly with something you know with a a jezebel he might go to jail over a jezebel over some drugs so you can see how he could be insinuating could be throwing shots at academics because academics is currently facing some you know some charges that sound kind of familiar and while he's talking about media He's talking about influencers, you know, he's talking about radio personality, media personality. So, you know, it seems like he's trying to tie all that in, in this, in this verse right here. Filled with beautiful people making humanity work. Let's kill the followers that follow up on popping mollies. From the obvious, the generous that's failing to acknowledge. Hope that we try to spread. If I'm not as woke, then you need to bring his fucking head or film that shit in high res. See, this is an interesting line. The interesting verse because it's almost like Kendrick is speaking out against some of the things that he himself kind of represent. Anyway, then we get back to the chorus. God, give me life. Dear God, please give me peace. Yeah. Verse three, he says, sometimes I wonder what Lecrae would do, right? Lecrae, we, we, we've talked about this. He's, a, um, he's an artist that's a, uh, how do I say it? Gospel artist, pretty much, right? He's a gospel rapper artist. Okay. Um, Fuck these niggas up or show them what prayer would do. I want to be empathetic, my heart like D1, but I will. It's time to get these devils out of the way. Heavy metals on my sword. We settle hard disputes today. The ghetto, Hollywood divorce. Say hello to your future fate. The culture bread with carnivores. You let them snack, they eat your face. The signatures are uh, is being forged. They wonder why I'm not enthused to drop. The more visible you get, the more your spirit is tried. Now, I really? thought this was weak and, and a bad excuse of why Kendrick is now trying to say he's not dropping music or hasn't dropped music or... He's talking about you, academics, because you, you, you are definitely one of the people that always say... He doesn't drop enough. It takes him four years to 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 come out. Why he don't drop? He can't he can't replace Drake because Drake makes too many music or he he makes music for, you know, every moment. You know, Drake is outside making music while Kendrick is, you know, in the cave, you know, all this bullshit. So yeah, he's directly talking to you. Has struggled with the idea of dropping music. He's saying that. Um let me read the exact line. He says, uh, no, where is it? Oh, right here. Sometimes whoa, I wonder what Lecrae would do. Whoa, 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 hold on. It's Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. Hold on, did a Tupac pass away? And we know Kendra like Tupac. Hold on, when did Tupac die? Wait, 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 hold on. Boy, man, if Kendra drops something today, when did Tupac die? Holy shit. But man, if Kendrick drops something tonight, oh shit. And, and we know Kendrick likes, you know, he he loved Pac. Holy shit. Don't be surprised if Kendrick drops something tonight today i'm just saying i don't know but i seen somebody type that i said friday the 13th r.i.p tupac i'm like yo and we know you know kendrick loves tupac and he always drops on special dates so could he drop something tonight 
Hmm. Interesting. This is very interesting. Dang, it is Tupac. Yeah, he uh, died September 13th. Wow. He sure did. Mm, interesting. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see what happens at 12 o'clock. Look, everybody going to be on their phone at 12 o'clock tonight. Boy, we going to be, <laughs> everybody going to be anticipating Friday the 13th, the boogeyman. So this is kind of like the perfect setup. If you think about this, it's because, you know, he's, he says he's the boogeyman Friday the 13th. This is too, man. Hey, age. We might get something tonight. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Things I'm going to show them what the prayer would do. I want to be empathetic to my heart just like D1, but I will. It's time to get these devils out of the way. Heavy metals on my sword. We sell heart disputes today. The ghetto. Hollywood divorce. Say hello to your future fate. The culture bread. We're carnivores. You let them snack. They eat your face. The signature's being forged. Oh, this is what I'm trying to get to. Then wonder why I'm not enthused to drop. The more visible you get, the more your spiritual is tried. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a weak excuse, man. Kendrick, you don't want to drop. Yo, what if Kendrick drop his album tonight? Look, it, it is Pac's birthday. And he said, man, give me two pot ring back. Yo, what if Kendrick drop his album tonight? Right at 12 o'clock on Tupac's birthday. On Friday the 13th. Boogie man. Come on, man. Yo, this would be crazy. Look, I'm calling it right now. Just in case, just in case he does, I could say, I told y'all. <laughs> what if he dropped his album at 12 o'clock Friday on Friday the 13th? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Cause you don't want to drop my nigga. You don't got to bet. You don't, don't got to like blame it on your spiritual ties. You don't got to, you know, blame it on these other things that are ancillary. You are just not that motivated to put out music in a more frequent time other than like three or four or five or six years. And that's just the truth to the matter. And again, there's many people who will ignore the fact that you haven't put out music because they love your past work. But the fact is the fact you just haven't put out music. Right. Okay. So after that, he says it's cynical to say, I know these artists petrified the end result in jail by Jezebel or drug them full of lies. Critical. I know my physical is all the time. I'm, oh, my God. Uh, let me. Yo, he didn't like that part. Why all of a sudden he just skipped that part? Nah, it's the reason why he knew <laughs> why you skipped that part. In like three or four or five or six years. And that's just the truth of the matter. And again, he ain't like that part. We'll ignore the fact that you haven't put out music because they love your past work. But the fact is the fact. You just haven't he put out music. He ain't like that right? part. Okay. So after that, he says, it's cynical to say, I know these artists petrified, the end result in jail by Jezebel or drug them full of lies. Critical, I know my physical is tested all the time. I'm, oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I said, I said B-Day. My bad. I, if I said B-Day, I meant B-Day, but that's the day that he passed. My bad. If I said B-Day, I didn't mean his birthday. I mean, that was his, you know, passing, passing date. But, you know, it could be a, you know, this, this, this could be a way to celebrate, you know, because some people look at death like a celebration. So he could celebrate the passing of Tupac by dropping on his his uh, passing date. You mm -hmm. know, possibly, possibly. Mm, we'll see. Uh, let me hop on Discord real quick. I do want to hear what y'all have to say about this. Again, not a bad track. I wouldn't say it's trash, but I do believe that, uh, you know, why even drop this? Why even drop this? It's not the, the best song. It's not the worst. New York, New Jersey. Yeah, man. Ready. Uh, look. Uh, New York City, I can tell the people want it. Yeah, I said that. Blake Jack Gaming super shattered $5. Daylight tweeted 1,259. That's 10 p.m. Pacific. 1 a.m. Eastern. 1 a.m. Eastern? Daylight? Daylight tweeted that? Like, so what? Daylight trying to tell us that something gonna happen? Something gonna happen tonight? Well, you know, Daylight be trolling. He he is the ultimate troll. <laughs> Daylight is the is the ultimate troll. So, uh, you know, getting information from him sometimes, he just be saying shit just to get attention. But we'll see. We'll see. Your plight. And now you get people who are looking at whatever you're doing, they might get the idea like, oh shit, like, he's dragging him, right? And that's always a bad look. Okay, hold on. Yeah, if y'all in the Discord, y'all can pop in here. I do want to hear y'all opinion about this whole thing. Again, I think this is a misstep. I don't think it's whack. I just think it's a misstep. It just makes no sense for, for Kendrick Lamar to drop a record like this, especially on his Instagram, that seemingly is trying to um, keep up the battle, especially after you said no round twos. You know what I'm saying? 
No, I, I agree with you, man. Um, I think you, you kind of nailed it home. It's a misstep. I think the fans are expecting you to crash out right now. But <laughs> no, I no. will say, do you feel like, do you not feel like it's dissing you? As soon as I listen to it, I instantly, I mean, of course, being a chat nigga, you want, but listening to it, I instantly thought he's dissing more media. All right. Now, this is going to get interesting right here because now academics and his uh, and his people is going to have a conversation about this. So this conversation, this exchange is going to be very interesting. So this is this is where it is uh, going to get good. And the narrative, then, you know, what I'm saying like then Drake this time. Is that that boy Friday right there? <laughs> Yo, Friday. Just came in. Yeah, I just I'm, 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 <laughs> Yo, Friday, man. Uh, what's the vibes in this? Uh, I, I, yo, uh, is that pain damage? Or who's that? No, nah, it's prop. Oh, it's prop. Oh, I only see the pee, my bad. Oh, all right. Anyway, oh, prop. Yo, whoa, here's the thing. I do think he's dissing media, right? But every artist is dissing media. Like, you know, what, what do you think? What, what am I supposed to do? Go load up a bar? It's not like he's saying you niggas is bitches. He's, he's basically just kind of saying that. It's kind of ironic, with it, even with him dissing media, when he's single handedly got nothing but the most amazing PR and press we've ever seen an artist get for six months. Like, again, I'm telling you, he's seen as hip hop Jesus. Like literally, a dude who came out with, this not no media ploy against him, a dude comes out and says, yo, I, I was contracted to, to, to do, to bot some streams. Everybody says, fuck out of here, nobody believes you. Drake in the battle says, yo, he beat his girl. Like niggas like, fuck out of here, we don't believe you. So the whole thing with him even getting that media sounds crazy to me. Like you're getting that media when, in, like, even if you think there's been media personalities, or let's say me or whoever, that you think may have said unfavorable things to you, none of it has ever mattered or damaged your reputation. You're impervious to all of these things. It's actually something that people should study. You could do no wrong. So when I hear, like, some of these things that he's saying, right? Like, for example, um, and I think the first line of this was, uh, what it is, right? He says, uh, influencers talk down because I'm not with the basic shit. But they don't hate me. They hate the man I represent. The man that never dick ride because I want a favor. Um, Aki, talk, Aki talking to you, Aki. I mean, listen, you, you, reason I say he's talking to you because you're the one person on the internet. You're the hip hop hub. You cover Drake. We know Drake is your favorite artist. So with you being that guy that keeps this, you know, this back and forth, you know, alive, reporting on it, instantly everybody comes to that conclusion. Air, why does why act is why act is in denial right now? I don't understand how he don't understand that that line is. If, if it's not directly, you're a part of that. Even if it's not directly, it's covering anyone that does the thing that academics does. So this this can go for act. This can go for mall. This can go for any other OVO uh, glazers. It's all of y'all. But he's definitely talking about you, bro. Even your own people know that he's talking about you. Why is he in such denial, bro? <laughs> Why is he in denial? I, I don't understand how he don't see it. Maybe he don't want to see it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of, we just had this talk on the stream. Like I said, it, it kind of correlates straight to you. I think it was a good timing drop, but I do agree when you said it's not the song. I, I don't think it was bad timing to drop a record, but it's Yo, just a miss completely. Hey, 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 here's the thing, right? For the, you know, and obviously I'm not talking to you here, but I'm, I'm talking about these people who are running with wild narratives online. Even if you want to say this was a diss, but it's it, more aimed at me, isn't it that is. a misstep? No. Yeah. It's like, you, it's get announced, you, you get announced as the number one performer, the headline performer for the NFL, and you're dissing hip hop blogs and hip hop personalities. Because you're one of the main people pushing agendas. You have a large audience, especially the young people. That's what he's talking about in this record. Influences driving the youth to the wrong direction. He's literally talking about you because he knows that you have a, a young audience and you have a large following and you have a huge platform. You're 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 on top of the media as far as, you know, hip hop coverage and all that. Like, like like Ak is on top. Paul's no diddy. So I don't understand why he's in such denial. You even said yourself you're the number one broadcaster. Now, all of a sudden, he don't want to be the number one. Like, man, man stop that cap. You you were just bragging and boasting when you was going off on DJ Head. I'm the number one. I'm number one. I'm big dog. I'm big act around here. I'm big. Exactly. That's why he's talking to you. But now he want to act clueless. <laughs> Now he want to add clueless. Yeah, I'm the prize. Bro, we got you on video when you were screaming at that girl. You, was, I'm the prize. I, yes, you're, you, you're the prize. You're the big dog. 
So why are you trying to be the victim now? Boy, it's crazy. When people ask for the attention, then they get it. They become the victim. Oh, well, I didn't. What, what I do? I didn't. Well, no, I, I'm just a I'm just a little broadcaster. No, you, you, you big act. You the best journalist of all times. That's what you said. You said you the greatest journalist of all time. So, yeah, he's talking about you. <laughs> so take this as a compliment. I don't see why he's in denial. I would take this as a compliment. I'm like, oh, shit, Kendrick over here talking about me. Shit, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> But I don't know. He just in such denial. I don't, I don't know. Is he scared? Is he shook? I don't know. And streamers. That doesn't yeah, seem a little bit of odd. Chasing. That doesn't seem a little bit odd. Like, yo, when I seen he hit the Super Bowl move, that's why I came on here and said, I said, yo, if Drake did turn the Super Bowl down, he needs to start re 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 uh, reevaluating because what Kendrick has been doing pretty good at is he's making big business moves that's making whatever his perceived status in the battle, look 10 times better. Right. Yo, I'm gonna do the pop out, Amazon is on it. Yo, I'm doing motherfucking the Super Bowl, Apple Music, Rock Nation. You tell me after that, you're dropping an academic diss all? If, if, if y'all wanna say I'm that important, and again, I, you know what, I was about to say he not dissing me, but I'm taking it now. He is. <laughs> and because low your pocket watch alignment for you, huh? you know? Exactly, you are the main pocket watcher. Bro, everybody knows that he's talking. Why does he, why don't he want, I would take this as a compliment. I'm like, oh shit, man, I got the hottest artist making a, a diss track about me. Shit, I'm the shit. I would take this as a compliment. Why he don't want to accept it? I'll be flattered. I'm like, oh shit, man, I got a, I got a whole damn verse about me from Kendrick Lamar. I'll take that as a compliment. But for some reason, he, he, he don't, he don't want it. Why? Is, is he shook? Is he scared? Is he like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? man, man listen, it's a, it's, it just shows that he's that much in tune or he cares. It proves that he's, like you said, human. He pays attention. He does care about what the media says. No, no. And it's definitely like a step backwards. Hey, I've always said the rappers who don't speak watch online the most. Like the most. Like they watch this shit, they scour it. They are obsessed more. When people say, oh, Kendrick, you know, like one of the criticisms they get to Drake, they're like, yo, Drake is leaking things to, you know, A, B, C, and D. It's so funny. You want me to give y'all a quick joke? Hey, yo, Friday, you want this bitch? Whatever. I'm, I'm over here, I'm right here. All right, and, and see if you get my reasoning on this. This is why I always say, they, they have different, they draw a different line as a different goalpost when it comes to Drake versus Kendrick, right? What was everybody getting Drake, getting that Drake at um, for, or getting that Drake for a couple months ago? Yo, bro, by the way, out of any of the top five rappers, and these are what I'm calling the top five rappers, we're going Drake, Kendrick, Cole, we're going to put um, Future in there, and let's say Travis, right? We're just going by numbers, right? I know people say Nikki, but let's go Travis. Those five. Drake has... And y'all tell me, call me. I want y'all to call me on my shit. Like, nah, I don't think this. Out of all of those rappers, in the last five to six years, Drake has the most amount of public interviews or public content pieces. Period. We don't ever see Kendrick talk. J. Cole barely talks. Future, does he talk? We don't I, see I, Hold on. I, I got to stop you there. Go I, I, would, I would actually put. What's his point, though? I don't understand his point. Why are you saying that? Does that that's random. What does that guy do with anything? J. Cole more in that category. Because J. Cole does a lot of content. Like he did the, the, the show with Hack or not, but um, with Yachty oh, and his boy Mitch. Yo, that's recent though. He did the Yachty joint. He did the, he did the little pump one. But that was recent. Yeah, but, but he was never the guy who was speaking a lot. Like, like, like he did that in the last couple years. I'll give you that. I came at the first person shooter. After Drake kind of plummeted him in the limelight. Yo, I think he's been more open since. Okay, got you. But what does that got to do with the verse? What, what does that got to do with anything? But that's why I said like six years because it's been a while. Like Drake was doing a lot of these things. And here's the point I'm trying to say. Please get and, to and, it. And I hope y'all follow me as I try to land this Come plane. on, come on. Land it. Land okay. it. Land it. And yeah. I was one of those people saying, damn, why Drake, why are you sitting with that white girl? That, the, the girl who's just not hip-hop Bobby Althoff, right? Yeah, because you want to sit when I'm in the bed, huh? You see, see, see I, yo, I don't care what he say. He be trying to act like, oh, I don't want to interview with Drake. Yes, you do, bro. You want to interview Drake and you feel bad that Drake over there giving interviews to random white girls laying in the bed. He over there being freaky with snow on, on the monkey app. Oh, snow. Why are you being so freaky? He's over there giving songs to Kai. He's over there giving song leaks to um, goddamn Aaron Ross. He fucking with everybody but you. 
I know you feel some type of way, bro. You wish you was laying on the bed and Drake told you, Ack, why are you so freaky? Ooh, Ack, why are you so freaky? Come on, bro. I know, I, I know you feel some type of way that Drake don't give you the exclusive like he give everybody else. I know you do, bro. I know you do. We, Elliot Wilson, he fell out with Drake because he said, Drake don't talk to nobody. Drake mm -hmm. stopped doing interviews. So it's like, we have this expectation of Drake. Right? Cool. Mm. Kendrick don't talk to nobody. Matter of fact, you just heard, what was the dude's name? Uh, the DJ dude that, that be rocking with Kendrick? Kendrick. Uh, DJ Head. Yeah, he, he was just like, oh, Kendrick don't talk to that. Kendrick don't talk to nobody. Here's a point that I'm trying to make with all this, right? They get mad that Drake actually speaks to the media personalities that ask him a question. Friday, I'm pretty sure if you ask him a question like, yo, bro, yo, is OVO Fest going on this year? Like, uh, you've exchanged either DM or some type of correspondence with him before, right? Like, yeah, for sure. yeah, like he'll just answer you. Like, bro, he's not telling niggas to speak for him. He's not saying, hey, Ak, go out there and tell them for me. You know, he's doing what people were criticizing him for doing that they don't criticize nobody else. What's your nobody point? Criticize What's your point? J. Cole for not speaking, giving no answers. They don't what, criticize what's Kendrick your for point? not saying nothing or whatever, or just being quiet. What's your point about the bars? You're supposed to be talking about what he said about you. What does what what are you, what, what are you talking about? What does got what does that have to do with him calling you out right here, being a dick rider? He's calling you a dick rider, bro. He's saying that you are OV ho and you just doing that. So you can be in good graces with Drake so you can get information. He's calling you a dick rider, bro. What about you riding dick? Pause. What about you being an OV ho? What are you talking about? But if Drake, let's say Drake says something to me because usually I'm asking, yo, bro, did, yo, what's up with that? Oh, no, yo, that's, that's a lie. So I come online and say, yo, I talk to the nigga, he says a lie. You know what people get mad at? Yo, why Drake always talking to act? What? Meanwhile... <laughs> When it comes to like someone like Kendrick, talks to supposedly nobody, right? Directly. But he doesn't get any of the scrutiny of having to somehow uh, having to explain himself that we give to Drake. Do you get what I'm saying? I'll add on no, to I that. Action. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, I don't. I'll add on to that. Besides Drake being accessible to media personalities, he follows a lot of local talent. If you go through Drake's follower count, it's extremely high for uh, such a big artist, Facts. one. And two, if you go through the followers, there's a lot of underground Toronto rappers in there. He's literally seen me post rappers on my Instagram page and then follow them minutes later. Like his ear is to the street. Yes, because he's trying to steal somebody else's swag. Yeah, that's all he do. Yeah, because he's trying to culture vulture something. Yeah, he's trying to copy and paste another nigga style. He's trying to go to an underground style, jack they shit, come back and make a hit song. Like he always been doing. Duh. <laughs> nigga he ain't trying to show love he just he just trying to steal and take so he can use it on his song duh <laughs> man, these, these some slow stupid motherfuckers right here man why they why they acting so slow why they acting so slow street and, and he's tapping in with the people out here okay and, and, and I'm gonna throw another uh, I'm glad you brought up a great point great point by the way Friday, I, I love listening to anytime you start Allegedly, 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 just in my opinion. Allegedly, in my opinion. A reason with hip hop, you know, I'm glad to have you here anytime you're here. Um, but y'all make sure Friday gets rolls that if I'm ever in here, you can move himself up. I don't gotta move himself. Anyway, yo, put it like this. Um, I was having a conversation with one of the, the top, um, I'm gonna call them executives in the game, and we were talking about Drake's moves post battle. And what you just said kind of came up, and it said, bro. Do you know that their problem with Drake was that they said for a artist of his talent and his magnitude in how, you know, popular he is, they said he's too accessible. And mm. I thought about that and I said, damn, isn't that a gift and a curse? Because part of the dope shit about Drake, how he keeps his ear to the streets is how he keeps relevant. When I'm, I'm when I'm listening to his song and he's like, yo, he'll put like some, it's almost like an Easter. Egg. See, y'all so much of a groupie. Y'all don't understand. Drake ain't y'all real friends. He just pretending to be cool. Act. Your own people were telling you that he's using you. He ain't fucking with you. He's just using you. Just like, just like there's so many people that that Drake collab with that he no longer fucks with. Like when um Ninja was like on fire back in the day with, with a Fortnite. Even Ninja spoke about it. Ninja said, Yeah, he he just rocked with me because um I was hot at the moment. I was on top of the game. So yeah. So all of a sudden, here come Drake. Oh, so. You're the best gamer. You got all these followers. You got the kids. Okay, so I'm going to act like we friends. 
Even Ninja said that shit. He, 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 he's a meat rider. If you got some type of clout, if you got some type of large following, here comes Drake to take your shit, to act like he's cool. Oh, he's he's friends with Drake. Oh, look at that. Oh, Drake is cool. Oh, look at this. He's a normal. Bro, come on, man. Y'all some groupies. Y'all don't even know that y'all getting used. Drake ain't fucking with you. He's using you. in the bars where he's like yo face who i could i could see a wall of y'all and i could yo he's he's giving he's he's still shouting out to mandem you know what i mean like he's that's what i'm first right there of course you get what i'm saying like that's him being tapped in right he follows everything going on there like you see him in the likes you see sometimes he cracking jokes but that's a positive but then it's also get looked at as yo this guy's too accessible right this dude is just too like anybody like this the person i was talking to they was just like like they made they made this comparison they said one of the reasons why everything that Kendrick does is so, you know, it hits so much different than what Drake does is because we never hear from Kendrick. We never see Kendrick. No one has a story about Kendrick. Then the person said to me, bro, I don't want to dox the person, but the person was in LA. The person said, bro, every girl in LA has some remembrance of them being in a party with Drake and Drake is within arm's length reach. And that's the biggest rapper in the world. He's too accessible. And Do I you said, think there's a difference between too accessible and in tune though? So what's the problem? I, I don't. What, what, how? What about the bars? You supposed to be addressing you riding Drake's dick. Pause. No, Diddy. Address Kendrick saying that you a dick rider. What does this gotta do with you riding Drake's dick? Pause. No, Diddy. What is he talking about right now? Now he's talking about who's accessible. Look at this bar, Drake. He's saying that you a meat rider. You an OV hoe. The type of man that dick ride so you can get favors. Talk about the, but what is he talking about? Okay, okay so, uh, so the problem is, and uh, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Drake, Drake, Drake follows everybody. What the fuck are you talking about? 